Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to fix four calls, guys. You may have only one of them, you may have two, you may have all of them. So stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. Codes I'm talking about, you can see them in the corner of the video. Now, we'll demonstrate on a 2.4 multi-air engine that's been used in multiple vehicles, guys. You can find that 2.4 multi-air, exact same engine, guys, in Dodge Dart Chrysler 200, guys. You can find it in Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Renegade, Jeep Compass, Ram Pro Master City Fiat 500X and Toro guys. That same engine is being used in multiple vehicles. So, quick introduction guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos. We take them completely apart. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. That's all we need. If you need to buy any parts, to scanners guys, we have the link in the description of the video below. So, please check it out. We shared it guys for your convenience. So, this is the car guys right here. We have a 2000 2015 Dodge Dart uh, that we'll demonstrate on. Now, uh, this is a 2.4 engine, guys. You can see this is the scanner that we'll be using. Okay, and we open the car. I'm going to connect the scanner quickly. So, all we have to do go right here underneath, connect the scanner to the OBD port. Okay, perfect. Scanner is powering up now. I want to show you guys, okay, never start your car inside your garage, always do it in the open because that can kill you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and start the car and show you how the engine light is on and the car will be misfiring. So listen now. So you can see guys, car is misfiring, sounds terrible, uh, it's uh, lack, lacking power, it's not uh, moving as good as it should. So what we'll do, we'll turn the ignition on without starting the engine guys, and we're going to connect the scanner, okay, to read the codes. So <clears throat> pretty cheap scanner, but very good scanner that you can see live data, I love that thing. You can find the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, check it out guys. Now it's loading, it's going to take just a little bit of time. Okay, codes found one, one code here guys, we click enter. Okay, now let me show you here quick. You have two modules that you can scan, scan each one of them. It's loading the data, now we're going to click read codes and then guys we, I always check stored and pending, both of them. Why? Because under pending you may have a code that actually it hasn't been long enough to trigger the engine light but it's still there. But that's the only code without we have one out of one. P2302 ignition coil A secondary circuit, guys. Now, ignition coil A secondary circuit. So let's go ahead, guys, okay, and explain now, okay, what can cause that now. So this right here, guys, this is the engine. This is the 2.4 multi-air engine. It will look like that in almost all of the vehicles. You may have a little bit different cover, but pretty much the same thing, guys. You have four things holding it. Sometimes it's nuts, sometimes it's just pulling it, guys. If you have nuts, you'll see them on top and remove it. Now, right here, guys, if you look at the other engine, you have four ignition coils. One, two, then you have three and four underneath this thing. You will need to remove it. We have the video, guys, from start to finish, how to remove and replace ignition coils. So please check it out. It's on the channel, guys, how to remove and replace ignition coils so you can check it out. But the problem is, guys, in the ignition coil. Remember how our says ignition coil A? Okay, ignition coil A, guys, indicates that you have a problem with ignition coil on cylinder number one. Cylinder number one is on the left side, then you have cylinder number two, three, and four. Now, what you need to do, disconnect that wire. Okay, disconnecting it, guys, you always have to uh, go ahead and pull that thing back. Okay, push down, disconnect it, remove the bolt, and remove the ignition coil. So, pretty simple, right? Not very complicated at all. Now, what about, guys, okay, what about... Uh, uh, if it's uh, ignition coil on cylinder number three and four, you have to remove the intake boot right here so you can remove that thing and get to them. We have the video on the channel. We'll go ahead and replace ours if you need to buy one. We'll have the link in the description of the video below and we'll see if that will take care of our problem now. So, we're ready guys. Now, we replace the ignition coil. I'm going inside. I want to show you how we're going to clear the codes. Okay, let me see where I left the key, by the way. Oh, right there. Turn the ignition back on, do not start the car, guys. And 
we get the scanner back okay what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and click erase codes okay let me just focus quick we click erase codes okay it's loading now you're going to find out erase done so now all we have to do guys turn it off let's restart the car okay I want you to listen guys what it sounds like when I restart it listen now So definitely guys not misfiring anymore. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to fix that problem. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.